200 from Air Florida is getting ready to line up and take off. The aircraft spools up its engines and starts to roll down the runway. But only about a minute later, this aircraft will come crashing into the 14th Street bridge that's spanning the Potomac River. As it does so, it will crash into seven different vehicles before it continues down into the cold, icy waters below. Now, using the final report, let's have a look at all of the different things that led up to this disaster and what we can learn from it. Stay I got out of bed that morning and there was a blizzard going on. One of the heaviest storms that I remember in my years of living here. It stopped and it started and it stopped and it started. And I knew that I had to travel on business to Florida. The Air Florida jetliner crashed into the Potomac River at 3.55 yesterday afternoon. Plane just come its nose was up, its tail was down, the tail section hit the bridge and it went right off into the water. I found myself immediately on the verge of blacking out and I didn't expect 